Okay, um, hello. Uh, if you are watching this, then you are on my YouTube channel. So welcome. This is the first time I've done kind of like a talking video, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I basically just wanted to do a little video of kind of like a get to know me type thing. Um, just so, you know, I've had a few questions of like people asking me, you know, how did I get into makeup? Um, how did I get into having a fashion and beauty blog? Do I still sing? Um, and all these kind of questions. So I was just gonna um, kind of talk through a little bit about how how I have come to where I am, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I still obviously have a lot that I need to do for my YouTube channel. Like I don't have a backdrop for anything. So this is um, the video featuring my shutter. I'll just leave that there. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna dive right in and give you a bit of a background as to how I got to where I am. So basically, I left school and I went straight into a music and performance course in college. I studied that, finished, and then I went like um, really seriously into pursuing a music career and I travelled all around. I was in London, Sweden, recording and worked so hard, wrote all my own music, you know, met so many amazing people. Finally put out my song a year ago. Uh, it's called I'm Out and you can see the video on YouTube. Um, it went to number four in the Irish iTunes chart and I was like, so unbelievably happy when that happened. I felt like it was something that I'd been working on. Like I've been singing since I was about eight and I was in a girl band from the age of eight singing probably before even then. So this was something that like I'd been working on for such a long time and to see like it doing well like was just the most amazing thing in the whole world. I performed it on TV. I, the first time I heard it on the radio, um, like I, cried and I don't cry ever um so like I was just so happy and just so proud of something that meant so much to me that it did well I was just so happy um I know the light is like so bad sorry it's because the clouds have like gone behind anyway look we'll just make do um okay sorry I had to actually stop because the light just got really bad and Although it wasn't bothering me too much, it probably might bother you. So anyway, and I was so proud of it and I've never really actually talked about this, so I don't really know what way to put it. But basically like that whole time I was working on that, I had like on my music, I had a part time job and I suppose I had hoped that music would become my full time job and that didn't seem to be happening at that point and I had just worked so hard and for that not to happen was really kind of really really hard for me at the time and I felt like I needed to then take a step back and I suppose reevaluate what I was doing and um, so I decided to take a break uh, from it and I had also been studying part-time uh, a marketing and events course. So I decided I was going to go into marketing and events. So I started working in a marketing and events agency, met some amazing people, I learned so much while I was there. Towards the end of my time there, I kind of realized and it started to become clear to me that like I, I wasn't really that happy anymore there. And deep down, I knew I wasn't being true to myself working in that company because I'm just such a creative person and I love doing creative things and I love being out and about and it that just didn't suit me the work I was doing just didn't suit me and I decided to hand in my, my notice and leave um just before I left I had started a fashion and beauty blog which is my blog that I have now which is um, bonnyrhymeblog.wordpress.com uh, and I didn't leave my job thinking you know this is what I'm going to go into I just I just was doing that on the side and absolutely loving it and 
had also decided I needed to make a change in my life and kind of started going through like writing things out being like you know what what do I love what do I enjoy what is my passion what makes me really happy and uh, it was such a scary time like to leave like a secure job like a nine to five and kind of say I'm gonna leave that security to find something that I really love and you know a lot of people always say to me like you know oh did you get your makeup done or um, and I'm like, no, I just did it myself. Um, I just really like doing makeup and my favorite part of a night out is doing my makeup. I know that sounds really sad. But um, yeah, my favorite part of the night out is actually doing my makeup and I love finding new products and mixing things and uh, like giving my friends tips and stuff on different things like that. And I just, I've always loved that. And then, you know, I had my fashion and beauty blog and I was really getting into that and I'm loving doing that so much. I love fashion. I love putting together new outfits and getting really creative with that. And so it really quickly became pretty clear once I left my job that I want to do makeup. I want to do people's makeup. That like, I was just like, the only reason, I kind of always knew, but the only reason I didn't want to do it was I felt like, you know, I had already kind of put myself out there and tried something a little bit out of the ordinary. And to me, in my heart, I felt like it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. And um, so I was kind of scared. The other thing I love is makeup. What, you know, I was scared thinking, you know, what if I go out and try and do this and it doesn't work out the way I wanted it to. But then I just said, you can't live your life like that. And if I'm really, really happy doing it, then that's all that matters. And I just love writing my fashion and beauty blog, shooting for it. And I can't explain how amazing it is when you do somebody's makeup and then they look in the mirror and they're like, oh my God, I look so pretty or I look really nice. And like, that makes me so happy to make somebody else happy. And to think that that can be my job is that like, I get to make somebody really happy is like, amazing like yeah it's just incredible so it's kind of been a long road to get me here I wouldn't change any of it because like I've only gained from experience and learned so much along the way I just wouldn't change any of it because it, it brought me to where I am right now for anyone out there who's like in their 20s or whatever age you are and you're kind of thinking like what am I going to do or you know or I can't do that or like just First of all, just relax. I feel like we're so hard on ourselves. Like I was getting up every day, just basically hitting myself in the head being like, what the hell am I doing? And then it just kind of clicked. And I don't mean for that to sound easy. Like it was not easy to come to the conclusion of what like I want to start pursuing. And Bonnie Ryan Beauty, I definitely want that to grow. Um, and this is how I'm pursuing it. So you know, it's better to take your time and find what you really, really love and what makes you happy every day rather than just jumping into something for the sake of doing it. That's pretty much how I've ended up doing this. Um, if you want to see my blog, it's bonnyrhymeblog.wordpress.com. I hope you love it as much as I do. Um, and then if you go to my Instagram page, which is Bonnie Ryan, you can get all the details how to book in makeup with me as well. And um, so also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm freelance. So like I can see you. Um, yeah, so that's really it. I guess I just want wanted to kind of show the journey that I've taken to kind of get here. Um, I've also just noticed like I'm going to have to get a backdrop because like <laughs> it's typical my battery would go. Um, but yeah, I'll have to get a backdrop because nibs can't feature in all the videos although he'd like to um but yeah thanks for watching guys and if you like this video um let me know and subscribe to my channel but until next time